Maximus! Where's Allie? While Maximus counted to ten, Allie found her best hiding spot yet. <laughs> You're so cute. We're Jordan and Megan, and we are converting our cargo trailer into a perpetual adventure machine. We hope you'll join us as we install our stove, install our sink, and finish up our kitchen. Previously on the build series, we burned our countertops and sealed them with tongue oil. We installed the wood stove and even got a chance to use it. In this episode, we install cabinet doors and drawers in our kitchen. With the stovetop, sink, and faucet installed, it really started to look a little more like home. At this point, we felt like everything was taking way too long. We decided to start splitting up the tasks and attempted to work at a faster pace. While Jordan worked on the hearth, I started on the kitchen walls, cabinets, and drawers. Most of our filming became time-lapse so we could focus on the build. We planned the direction we wanted our cabinet doors to open, and then built the frames in place to ensure that the doors would not scrape the ceiling. We found used hinges at ReStore for much cheaper than buying new. We used corrugated metal as an accent on two cabinets to tie in the same look as our hearth and our shower. The accent wood we used came from an old fence at the airsoft field I used to work at. We liked the character the BB Dents gave the wood, and it gives us a fun, personalized touch to our build. We chose to build three drawers in our kitchen. One would be a small drawer on top for utensils and spices. The other two drawers would be larger in size for dishes and other kitchen appliances and essentials. As much as we would have loved having soft closed drawers, we opted for the lightest weight drawer slides we could find. What's in the box? The sun. The sun? <laughs> Go sun! <laughs> Instead of a traditional oven, we found a solar oven we were excited to try. We bought the GoSun Fusion, a hybrid solar and electric oven that would allow us to cook or bake if we chose day or night. We had just worked so hard on our kitchen countertops, it was hard to start the first cut into them. Using the jigsaw to start the hole gave us some trouble and was going to damage the counters. It's jumping off to the side. Hmm. Outside of our yeah. line. I'm not getting all the way through it. Hmm. We found using the sawzall was easier to get the cut started. Right on the line. Once we were through on all four sides, we finished up with the jigsaw. 
we wanted to utilize our solar setup by having all electric appliances. We opted to go with an induction cooktop because it is the most efficient. It would also work well with our cast iron cookware. You only get one chance to get the measurements on this right. We would much rather trim to make the stove fit rather than end up with a hole that is too big. We ordered a multifunctional faucet from Amazon. It has three modes, stream, spray, and shower. We wanted to be able to use less water at times and definitely wanted a pull down sprayer. Cutting the hole for the sink was largely uneventful. Taking a overmount sink and turning it into an undermount sink required that we get a little creative. We built a guide on the drill press and drilled holes in the rim of the sink so we could mount it. That'll look cool once it's all burnt. Since we didn't have a hole saw that would be the correct size for the faucet, we used a stepper bit that conveniently was the perfect size. We placed the faucet in the back left corner of our sink because the window crank would run into it if it was centered. It definitely took both of us to get it all lined up and attached. We added silicone to the rim of the sink and screwed it into the countertops from the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like if you are enjoying what you see and subscribe if you haven't already. Come with us on our perpetual adventure as we continue to create our tiny home on wheels.